Hold on to your pants, we're going down. Okay, so my, my approach is to grab the ladder. And it's not gonna happen. Okay, we're going to the farm. Dead. What is going on guys? This is The Lost Yeti here, and today we are back on the Infinite Realm server. Today, as you can see, we are at our new gold farm. Now, unfortunately, um, we did, oh, it's working quite well. We did actually have a time lapse of building this, but for whatever reason, replay mod is being a butt. So let's just do a quick little recap. So now it's only a single and a half tier farm because that takes far too many magma blocks. There's around 600 of them in this guy, a little bit more than that actually. And I lost my brain a little bit but I went AFK and farmed it for about an hour and got 46 blocks, uh, four ingots and two nuggets, which is absolutely huge. As you'll see, even from me just going up there now, it's already starting to harvest some more. Now I should probably put in a filtering system to get rid of this zombie flesh because it is quite annoying to say the least. Um, maybe I can use it for trading or something, but for right now it's a bit of a waste. But just like that, we're going to get a couple, a couple extra blocks out of it. So it shouldn't be saying too, too much. But yeah, guys, so we built this out. Um, basically because I think it would be a huge, 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 huge addition to be able to make some golden carrots. As well as just having gold as a renewable resource. Man, that thing is going to town. Sweet. Um, so as you can see, I built this out. I'm still going to continue to build this out and decorate it more. But I wanted to get you guys updated. Um, I did build a portal out of curiosity, and it brings us out to a frozen ocean. Um, so you can see right here, I was just farming some uh, trees to make some ladders, but check it out. We can have our frozen kingdom, which is super, super sweet. I'm excited for that. But yeah, guys, so that's a little update of where we are. I'm going to make a little bit more progress on the gold farm over here. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at two layers for the time being, maybe get some more magma blo blocks when I feel like getting motivated, but I'm, I'm very happy with where it is now. I'm going to expand the storage, maybe filter out some of these guys and take it from there. All right, so we were up here actually gathering a little bit more gold and I was staring on down there watching all the pigmen run to his, their deaths. And it turns out we have a little coordinate gift of sorts. I'm not hundred percent sure. So these coordinates were left for me. I don't know who was online. Unfortunately, I don't have any way of seeing if that who was online. So we're gonna take a peek down here. I'm gonna fill this in. Let's see, so our coordinates that we have, let's do a little bit of investigation here, are negative 7,720, 137, and negative 3,215. Okay, that's good, now I can get rid of this guy. I know in my luck I'll probably fall to my death right about here, so. Hold on, oh, hey, free tree. Hold on to your pants, we're going down. Okay, so my, my approach is to grab the ladder. And it's not gonna happen. Okay, we're going to the farm. Dead. So I already emptied the farm for most part. So this is what we're sitting at right now. Five and a half stacks, plus whatever we got while I was just up there. So this thing's really cooking. But we'll grab this guy. I'm gonna need more rockets. So I think we're gonna take a little pit stop there and then see if we can't find these cords. Ooh, stopping in over at spawn or at shopping district. It looks like someone's been building a bridge over here. I'm assuming that this would be Brad's work because I was starting on this mountain over here and he mentioned that he wanted to take on the process of the bridge and he's got this big fancy waterfall kind of guy going on. But hey, I appreciate just being able to fully link everything. But for the time being, our focus is not going to be on that just in case he hasn't shown that yet. And it's going to be on Vert's ship right here, which has two diamonds per book. What do you have, good sir? Oh, just a ton of mending books. Understood. All right, so I can grab my chest stuff. Flight duration one, flight duration three. Okay, uh, understood. What are always doing? Oh, no, he still has some hanging in there. And now, let's go find those coordinates. Found our, I found our chest, I suppose. I don't know what it's doing out here all by itself. Let's see if we can't grab this midair. 
Oh, that's that's a long way down though. It's just a floating chest. Still have no idea who exactly did this. Uh, oh, hello, glitchy block. I had talked to Brad briefly while he was just on, and I asked him if he was the one responsible for the cords, and he did not say that. Ooh, although, this does give me a little bit more information, because it does appear that... Oh, Common said, Yeti, I know that you're AFK, but have a good day. Thanks, Common. So maybe it was Common that did this. We're about to find out. What's behind door number one? Well, of course, we'd have to go all the way around because we came up on the wrong side. Oh, it is from Common. Hope you enjoyed the trip. Didn't have too much, too much on me. Oh, look at that. Thanks, Common. I'm gonna appreciate this because now I have no idea how to get back. Um, and also, your boy dropped off his elytra before trying to get over here. So, I'm gonna have to dig my way down and hopefully not die. All right, all right. So we're back now. We've uh, managed to get a ton of gold, but for every good farm, you need a shop. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. We're gonna be taking a trip down to the shopping district and making a proper home for all of this glorious, glorious gold. Let's get it. are back at the base um, I stopped by to pick up more supplies for the shop it looks like it's gonna be taking a whole lot more supplies than I originally thought so uh, as it stands let's just take a peek at our, our damage this is what we've done to my poor poor desert um, as you can see I kind of dropped a bunch of stuff off but basically we've just been harvesting this <laughs> sandstone for days to try to make this thing work uh, this is one of a few holes that I have so uh, I'm hoping, hoping, being the keyword, that we can put this all to good use in the shop. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back with you once we make more progress on the shop. And would you look at that, we have our pyramid. Now let's uh, go on in and take a closer look. And welcome to our shop. So now, if you come on over here, we've got two stacks of sand for a diamond. One person's already taken us up on that. We're also selling two stacks of sandstone for a diamond, no bites. Beware of the cave-in, don't worry, don't worry. We've got some miscellaneous books hanging out in here for one diamond apiece. We got 16 TNT for two diamonds each, a little bit cheaper than Ubert, but watch out. And then if you come on into the King's Chamber, or whatever you want to call it, the uh, chamber, we've got all these Ankh-esque uh, little banners, which are kind of nice. And then you come on up the tractor beam to our alien spaceship. Now this is the intergalactic ore exchange. And here we will be selling gold, as well as lapis, coal, and redstone, 16 blocks for a diamond, which is a steal if you ask me, and it looks like some other people happen to agree. But yeah, guys, this is what everything's looking like now. Super stoked on it. I hope you guys are too. Um, I'm hoping that the replay mods have worked out okay. I know they've been a little buggy, so please forgive me if there's any jumping around here. And now that the shop is looking a little bit better, we're gonna meet up with Common Virus and Noctify and make some progress on the Nether Hub. Let's get this party started. We're off to oh see the God. wizard, the wonderful wizard of Common. We're off, we're off, we're off, we're off, we're off. I think we need to do something like right here. I was thinking like market stalls. I spy a wild Common. Or actually, who's robbing the bank? Spotted. So there's a problem with this bank. So I have Curse of Mighty 
pants and I can't take them off. Oh, that, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Sure. Do you have a do you have a knock head? There you go. The grand unveiling. I'm a new <laughs> you work for the bank now. The bank works for you. You gotta find the switches to open all the doors. So much progress on the nether hub made tonight thanks so much guys for sticking with me and making a little bit more uh, we've got a bunch of columns going on now as you can see and we actually redid the bottom portion let's let's go take a look at it, a better look at it anyways we added all these columns going down to kind of make it seem a little bit more sturdy a little bit more rigid we've got a ladder going up to the top because I keep falling off we've decided to mirror this over here at least the best that we can and this is probably going to be for Noctify and Torx now that they both have uh, portals on the roof of the nether there's Torx's and then Noctify's is leading up now that doesn't give us a solution for Verts yet or Brad's so they might have to come in right around here ish we haven't figured that out yet um, but we swapped out the red wool here for the Nylum and I've got some string there for the time being just so that this place isn't an absolute death trap but it's absolutely huge. Oh, looks like someone had to uh, ladder clutch there. Yeah, okay. But yeah, huge, huge progress. Super stoked in how it's coming along. Can't wait to see how it turns out, but leaps and bounds better than what we had. So thanks guys so much for giving me a hand. I really do appreciate it. No, 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 brown cow. Don't you think for a second that we forgot about the bank. I just installed this little keypad system that you have to know the code and enter on these little uh, what do we call it? Wool blocks. You know, enter your buttons to unlock all the safety deposit boxes. Uh, now, Striker was stopping by here, and he was taking a peek around, so he knows the code now. It's not super complicated, but at least it's it's kind of interesting. It's it's banky, you know, because all of your good, high-paying clientele would be back here. And the thought process is to hide what the code is in one of the chests. So if you find it, you get access to this bonus area. Um, plus, there's a little. Um, whatchamacallit, a little air vent that you can now locomote, just giving the players a little bit more options when they're in the bank. That way it doesn't feel like you're always forced into one direction or anything like that, and making it more of like an adventure map. But yeah, no, huge, huge ups here. I'm also gonna install an alarm and a couple other smaller things before I have the next person run. I think the next plan is to expand out on the other side, uh, but we'll leave that for after whoever runs the next, just so every time there's always something fresh and new happening at the bank. But yeah, guys, I think that's all we got time for, unfortunately. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like down below. Subscribe for more content like this. As always, this has been your host, The Lost Daddy, and I hope to catch you guys in the next episode on the Infinite Realms server. I will see you then.